Yeah, so he was standing in front of the Quan Chon, the pole dummy. Now this dummy is very unique and it's only found in three schools now all over the world. I know of one uh, in uh, Amsterdam, I know of one in uh, Germany and I know of one in uh, New York City at the moment. But in the past it was also situated on the house of Lake Grandmaster Tangik in Hong Kong. Uh, as you well know, uh, we know the, the standard wooden dummy, right? We know the, the Unnam wooden dummy. And there is a movie on my channel about that wall mounted wooden dummy, the first wall mounted wooden dummy in Dalek Line. And that's also known now as the whole, uh, yeah, actually, it's, it's known now as the standard wooden dummy of Wing Chun all over the world. This one, however, is totally unknown or to most. What happened is, in China, the wooden dummies are situated into the floor, right, in the ground. And in Dai Line, they made the prototype and they hung it up on the wall. And Yip Man was known to pay a lot of visits to Dai Line and one day he took his student, Leung Sheng, and together they took the measurements. And they gave the measurements to Ko San, very famous dummy maker, and he made for Yip Man the wall mounted dummy dummy, or wall mounted wooden dummy, put it up in his school, and yeah, people like the late Ramos of Chun right, or Bruce Lee, or Rock Yu, all these people came in there, right, and their students now all over the world are using that dummy as the standard. Actually, it came from Dyer Line. And this dummy was not found in Dyer Line, it was situated on the rooftop of the house of the late Tangik, late Ramos of Tangik. That's why. Now in the world, the people don't really know about this dummy and just are not using it. But this was actually part. In the Southern Shaolin Temple, in the Wing Chun Dim, you had the standard wooden dummy for the unarmed practice and you had a wooden dummy for the pole. Which makes sense, right? So if we look at the normal wooden dummy, right? We have the upper part called heaven, we have the middle part called earth, and we have the underpart called human. It's always Tian Dei Yan. Heaven, earth, human. The human part is under because it's the least important, yeah, according to the Chinese. The heaven and the earth is always above the human. So, we have the two arms here, the middle arm here and the left, right? Heaven, earth, human. Same here. Same concept. Heaven, earth, human. Left and the right side, right? So, yeah, it's a unique training piece and I'm proud to be yeah, uh, able to teach this to my students all over the world. Yeah? It's a piece of Chinese culture which should be protected.